please. We have had a really nice coffee. We just didn't vlog at all. No vlogs. No vlogs. No vlogs. my crown, that's my bling, always drama when I bring. Trying to come out. Hello. It's now Saturday. I'm having one of those days where I don't feel like I look like me. Or maybe I look exactly like me and I'm just having an existential crisis, which is most likely happening anyway. My hair is just not enjoying herself today. Saturday, I haven't spoken to you since Wednesday, or you haven't seen me since Wednesday. I have been trying to rest because I'm not very well. I have been working away on my laptop, just not really leaving the house and eating soup all day because that's all I've wanted to do. And I blame my husband. But I did want to show you some of the pieces that I've got in this week and what I got from Chloe's collab with TB Co. That's the Tartan Blanket Company. I will link absolutely everything that I can down below. But I got this gorgeous scarf from her collection. I think this is the Clean, clean Lines? Minimal Line Scarf. I believe they're around £90, but I do believe a scarf is one of those investment pieces. Max bought me a Ghani scarf two years ago, so this will be my third year wearing it. Obsessed. I think definitely when you invest in something like scarves, hats, those sort of situations, you just continuously wear them throughout the years. And it's a very easy, simple, minimal design. It's like a light grey and a dark grey sort of situation here. It's not black, so it's not as stark, but I really like it. I'm excited to style that up, so thank you Chloe and the TV Co team, obsessed with you all, fantastic women, love it when women, I love it when my boiler does that all the time, it's really annoying. I very kindly got a goodie bag, so inside is a Izzy Miyake perfume, I've actually never tried Izzy Miyake's perfume, which to me is a slap on the wrist. I deserve to go to jail. So a pair of gold hoops, like little huggy style hoops. Then a candle from Space NK. This is the Sahara Dusk scented candle. And it smells quite citrusy. 
Sandalwood and amber. Oh, you know what that smells like when I get around to lighting it. I currently have my favourite candle ever. Well, one of my favourite candles. This is the Melon and Goez Goetz. Never know how to say that. This is the bergamot one. But my all-time favourite one is the cannabis one. Fantastic. Also, if you can ever go and smell the cannabis oil roll-on rollerball, you'll be obsessed. What else have we got in here? We have a eye test with Jimmy Fairley, but I always get my eye tests with Jimmy Fairley every, anyway. I've had one for the past two years with Jimmy Fairley and really enjoy them. And they have great glasses, glass selection. Not just sunglasses, but prescription glasses as well. So I can't speak. I don't know if you've realized that today. Then we have a um, glasses chain sort of situation. Some candy kittens. Loki gives me PTSD still, so I'll still eat them. I do genuinely really love candy kittens. If you didn't know, I actually used to work for candy kittens when I was at university. If you've been here that long, you are an OG. You're an OG. Then there's a tote bag inside a tote bag. And that is everything. Thank you to TB Co and Chloe for a lovely afternoon. And a lovely little goodie bag. I have a few other parcels. I have opened them, but I thought I'd show you what I've gotten this week. Um, just for funsies. Some PR and some are things that I purchased just so I can put them away and they're not just piling up down here because it's stressing me out. I need to have a full Sunday reset tomorrow. I'm tempted to do it today, but I have a bit of work to do. So I don't know how much more I will show you of this week, but yeah, I need to. I really just want to throw everything in the bin to be quite honest with you. First up is Stradivarius. The way a sentence cannot come out of my mouth today without me messing it up and me getting frustrated at myself. Stop it. Anyway, this is what I picked up from Stradivarius. It's their little like viral studded bucket bag. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Look how expensive. I can't remember what the designer is that it's a dupe of. Um, but I will link both down below if you're interested in purchasing the original or if you're interested in this or you don't really care for the original and you just think this is cute because this is cute. I have some things I can't show you because the campaigns that I need to film today. But I did get a little gift from Rare Beauty. This is honestly ridiculous. I thought I could put this on my bag and I could put Olive's poo bags inside this. If she could honestly carry this, I think I'd die. It was too cute. Obsessed. They then sent across some of their Christmas gifts. I think these are their holiday sets for 2024. So we have a little mascara and what would you call those sort of things? Like an eyeshadow pen duo sort of situation. Then mini blushes. I do think the mini blushes are worth their money because you need the tiniest, tiniest bit of the blusher and there's also a highlighter in there as well which I've not tried. You then have shite. Then have the find comfort. I actually put the comfort spray on every single night before bed. I put it on my dramas. This is the mini lotion and fragrance set. That's cute. I'm gonna pop that straight in my little bag that I use because I always carry a perfume. And Selena's lip and cheek favourite. So we have a lipstick, a highlighter and one of their glowy blushes. I actually haven't tried the luminous blushes yet. I have them all, but I don't know. I don't know why I've been putting off trying them. I feel like a little bit scared, a little bit intimidated by them. But they're the gift sets for holiday. I will definitely be giving these to some of my friends. That can go to a sparkling. I then got some goodies from Sam McKnight. So I have 
the Multitask Heat Protection Styling Mist. I actually used this yesterday and my curls have held up okay. I did put it in the messiest one that I've ever done in my existence and did also get rained on. So they've held out pretty well for somebody whose hair doesn't stay curly at all. I would highly recommend this. I will do a little toot with it soon. Then we have the Voluminizing Spray. Never tried this before. I've tried a couple of things from Sam McKnight before. I have their mini version of the shampoo and conditioner. I took them away with me when I went away a couple of times this year. And then they've sent me the full size of the shampoo and conditioner, which I'm very excited to have because I used my minis completely, obviously. To the recycling. I say to the recycling, it's just a corner in my kitchen that I put the recycling in until I take it all down in one portion. Anyway, next up are Sabago. I believe that's how you pronounce the brand. Sent me some gorgeous loafers. I tried on some GH Bass loafers that literally looked exactly like this, but not as platform. And so when they asked if I wanted anything, these were an immediate yes from me. They're so comfortable. And Zabago is one of those brands that has been around for a very long time. They're tried and true. I did want some boat shoes, but they didn't have any smaller than a six. So that is also my mission for this week. Well, I don't need to buy any more shoes, but I really want a pair of boat shoes because I want to try and style them up for autumn winter. So thank you, Sabago, for sending me those. Stunning, stunning. Last but not least, I'm running out of battery, so hopefully I can get this done quickly. 